Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, dude. Inshallah. <laughs> Today on the Trash Fire podcast, we have the one and only Magic City Pacino. Sir. Am I in the fucking shot? Sergio oh. Mendez. Mendez. Oh, you, oh yeah, you're in the shot. Me, dude. Me, dude. It's <laughs> fucking the me show. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna jerk myself off to this later. Yeah, it definitely Episode is the usual. 14. Show. We got Sergio Mendez here, aka Jay Gutta, the one and only. The one and only. Hell yeah, dude! I like you. Just gave me a nickname. Fuck yeah! He's, <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's a freak in the sheets, but Jay Gutta in the streets. Yeah. yeah? <laughs> What's the J and Gutta stand for? Jewish Gutta? Yeah. <laughs> that'd be looking Jewish. Hey, if that's what if that's what you want, brother. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> Can you t- let, tell us a little bit about yourself, brother? You know, I'm just a fucking bloke who likes to vibe out. Um, nah, man. What, what am I supposed to say here? Yeah, am I supposed to be for real boy, me? Are you a boy toy? Am I a boy toy? Nah. No, like I really wish that I was. And uh, I might start hanging out like at Bout Harbor a lot and just in a nicely dressed suit and see if a 67-year-old <laughs> Jewish woman will take me up on that type of a, of a situation. Hey, why just women, man? It's not, it's not, that's not inclusive. You're right, you're right. Well, there, there, there definitely is one comic out there who's put, put some offers on the table, of, you know, for a couple meals at Denny's and what you have you, but um, <laughs> it's not really my vibe, though. You know you know who we're talking about. If you're in the Miami comedy scene, I got it just now. you know who I'm speaking of, but it's okay. It's all right. Um, no, nah, man, I mean, if the offer's right, then who knows? You know what I'm saying? I just don't want to work. That's a fucking for sure yeah, fact. I feel you. And that's why I'm trying to become a stand-up comedian. And that's why I'm here on a roof with you fine young lads <laughs> with the wind blowing everywhere. <laughs> all over the place. We fucking blew down the camera yeah. earlier. It's blew down the so camera. So God is fuck. like, it's yeah, yeah. Down the <laughs> you're going to burn your career on fire before it even starts. Yeah, Don't right. do this podcast. <laughs> that's what God was saying. This is God, God speaks through this podcast a lot. He just sent an airplane overboard. Yeah, he's he did. Don't worry, though. You, you, don't, you don't hear most of this stuff. But, uh, he doesn't so. watch it. He only watches for five minutes. And then, and then <laughs> yeah, he's like, yo, this is boring. I'm going to go watch this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> 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 Fuck. All right. Hey, you yeah, said yeah. it, not me. But, <laughs> hey, <laughs> we're, we're live. We're live. Yeah, yeah, whatever, bro. You do what you got to do with whatever you're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, man, whatever. <laughs> Wasn't me. All right, but yeah, so Sergio, this is Sergio Mendez. Tell us a little bit it's about me. what, other than not wanting to work for anybody, yeah. <laughs> what really influenced you to entertain and, and, and be a comedian because uh, mm. you're thriving in the scene right now. Thriving, dude. I'm thriving. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I guess I'm a fucking semi big fish in a, in a semi yeah, small you're one pond. You're one of the, you're one of the, you're one of the, uh, hey, Miami comedy champs. At least in, in our eyes, right? Yeah. Oh, well, uh, that means a lot to me, fellas. Honestly, <laughs> no, I mean that. I'm not, that's not even kind of sending at all. Um, but uh, <laughs> as far as my fucking, what got me to comedy, dude, I was always just a funny fucker. I always wanted to laugh. You know, I grew up with like, like a skater punk, you know, like kind of like a skater punk type of dude. Right. A lot of fucking loitering, a lot of just hanging outside of a CVS for hours, banging on the newspaper fucking Burning thing. And, on fire. And yeah, you know, I mean, we used to fucking throw fucking mortars inside the CVS. Like a couple times, you know those mortar fireworks, that yeah. like the ones that you need the thing to, to shoot it up. <laughs> and it goes in this air and it goes boom. Sky. Big ones, dude. A couple bad. times we went to a CVS and just fucking threw one in there. <laughs> and it just fucking went blah. <laughs> And all the old Jewish and you're Palestinian terror. people got scared. <laughs> so you're I am. So you're I am. Terror. No, I am. The I am. Jewish and Palestinian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, we can't choose sides. We're not choosing sides. Hey, so basically you were formerly a menace to society. Yeah, I was. I was. I needed to find a way to continue being that, you know, but just a more respected version. Uh, at least a version that's more socially acceptable in society. And that is a comedian if you're 30. So... Yeah, I can't. I can't go throw mortars into CVS anymore. So now I like You'll to go tell jokes to, to people. Um, no, but also seriously, yeah. Like my group of friends back in the day, we were just like fucking one uppers, bro. I just grew up with a bunch of one uppers, the one uppingtons, and it's like anytime one person did something funny, then the next guy would be like, "Oh yeah, oh, well, I'm gonna top that. I'm gonna fucking you know do this now, whatever, whatever it would be, you know." So, um, so that that definitely you know, may, I don't know. I guess that gave me that fucking weird disease of like i need to be funny i need to fucking <laughs> prove to bug. people that i'm and funny I'm talking herpes. yeah but also i might have that one i don't know <laughs> and uh <laughs> no, i've been trying to get an std for years and i still can't do it <laughs> you wanna, how have you been trying i just don't use a condom i'm a, I'm a condomless crusader bro and if you're out there ladies just know that when you 
<laughs> Take me When you slide home. in the DMs after this. No one's gonna slide in my DMs. That's a <laughs> fact. No, no, they were Sushi will, they gang. Will. We're sushi gang over here. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. <laughs> oh, this is great. Dude. They're doing a tour of the apartment right here. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Oh He's man! Like, Fuck this All guy. right, yeah. now these people are not yeah. moving. Sergio, in. Sergio's <laughs> gonna get the cops called on us, and we're gonna get a yeah, picture. Yeah, dude. <laughs> no, this is this is Those a service are I provide. Definitely not moving into this building now. Yeah, yeah, this is a free service I provide, dude. I go, I go to the showing for competitive realtors, like competing realtors, and I just like, I'm just like, yeah, what's up? I live here. What's going on? There's drunk, there's drunk dudes that live on the roof over oh, here. Oh shit! Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> nah, but so um, I guess. Do you have any comedic influences that that really pushed you even further than than your friends or? Um, yeah, I mean, dude, I got you know like fucking. I grew up watching you know Comic Blend, all that shit. Like Comedy Central was like my fucking. That was like my bible, dude. When I was yeah, a yeah. kid, bro, I would watch Comedy Central all fucking day and night. Um, probably like really on, one of my all my favorite comics are dead. They're all they're all dead. But probably my favorite comedian of all time is G Greg Giraldo. True. You, you guys know Greg Geraldo? No? Yeah. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Cool, man. Super You're famous. cool. I'm just influenced by like cartoons. So. Yeah? Yeah. Johnny <laughs> Bravo's lie. your favorite comedian? Huh? Johnny Bravo's your favorite yeah, comedian? Yeah. <laughs> his favorite, com his favorite comedian is Cardi B. <laughs> his favorite comedian is Cardi B? <laughs> <laughs> she is funny, dude. You gotta give it to her. She's, I mean, she's so con stank. America, so. She said she's so stank. Yeah. Yeah, she does look good. Does look pretty stank. Oh man, could you do you know a joke that like you could always remember from Greg Geraldo? Um, I just like this one where fuck he started off his special right. He's in New York and he started special off saying like, oh man, New York, what a town! Like we have such an interesting way of communicating out here. You know, like the way we communicate is unlike anywhere else in the world. You know, I was in the subway the other day and uh, I heard I heard this dude just yelling from one car to the other and he was just like, Yo, Monica. Yo, Monica! Yo, you got AIDS, yo! <laughs> and that was it, dude. He it was, it was like, that fucking Michael, uh, Michael Moore was right, man. We got the worst healthcare system in the world. It's like, that's how they tell you? That's how they tell you you got AIDS? <laughs> so, about that. Um, AIDS, AIDS is, is very not serious. Fun. <laughs> Oh AIDS is man! Very still? Serious, all right. <laughs> still? <laughs> still? I thought we were past this, dude. <laughs> I thought I thought the AIDS fucking... used to be funny. It stopped being funny, and, and now it's yeah. it's almost there. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. So you, you I just think the delivery. Lightly, but you gotta try lightly, the delivery. Podcast, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna <laughs> do my best. <laughs> saying terrible, horrible jokes like that. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'll, I'll try. I'll, you know what, dude? That's why you don't tell other comics jokes, man. You let them <laughs> say them for themselves. That's like a fucking bait tactic. You guys are yes. like, yeah, we're going to get them to say a fucking <laughs> his favorite comics joke. And then we're going to be like, that shit sucks. <laughs> yep, every time. Oh, this is like a little fucking bit. You every, do the only <laughs> time. Um, every other time, bit. everybody thinks that we're like dead serious. They're just like... I don't know. I, you know, I just I'm trying to explain themselves, and we're like, oh, well, I mean, I just really like, no, you know, it's like to me it was funny. You know, I just like the, you know, the clever witticism of being able to, you know, to scream out the subway. No, but I do like, yeah. I do like subway humor, and it was very hard for me not to laugh. Yeah, at yeah, that yeah. shit's funny. Dude. I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, like that a funny, funny idea, idea, you know. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. I just like, I like. I like shit like that. I like idiots. I like idiots. Honestly, yeah. I love dumb humor. I'm not ever gonna try to like confuse myself for like some highbrow guy. You know, yeah, I like jackass. I like worse, nut dude. shots. I like all that shit, dude. Dumb shit makes me laugh. There's nothing worse than a highbrow comedian that goes up on stage with a little blazer and. <laughs> and he's got the fucking notebook yeah. out and shit. Oh shit! It's well, like, yo, just, just go, blazer, just get the fucking, tie, yeah. yeah, bro, just get the Sherlock Holmes hat and pipe, and just yeah, become right. fully formed yeah. who you really think you are. You know? Yeah, exactly. Like just, just, I don't know, just memorize your shit. I don't know. <laughs> that too. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you can't, right? I mean, I guess, dude. I don't know. It, it like, uh, yeah, that's just like, yo, just go read a bedtime story, dude. What are you fucking doing? <laughs> so, Serge, you have. A podcast, right? You want to tell us a little bit about your podcast? I do have a podcast. Uh, it's with fellow comedian, fellow lovable scumbag. Fellow degenerate. Fellow degenerate, Raul Colom. Uh, another great comic here in Miami. Um, Put that right here. Yeah. Put it here. Yeah, that's why I, I pointed And then I'm Magic City Pacino. He's Raul Comedy. Raul Comedy. Um, but yeah, we have a podcast. It's called Holy Chit. 
Um, and, uh, you know, we've had two episodes thus far. We had one of our favorite comics, Oriel Rodriguez, on the last episode. It was a lot of fucking fun. We just bullshit. We're not trying to act like we know shit, you know? We just have a good time, yeah. shoot the shit, make shit up, you know? Uh, what else are you going to do, you know? Verbal diarrhea. It's just exactly. how we do it. And so, uh, yeah, there is. you know, I, I kind of told you, oh, you know, if you wanted to promote, if you wanted to wear any merch or anything, uh, but you clearly didn't. So <laughs> we we bought we brought uh, Serge a, a special gift as you're seeing here you're first. Serge has not podcast. seen it yet. A gift it's only on the Trash Fire we podcast. Like to make our guests happy. These guys are fucking gentlemen. Like to make our, our guests happy. It builds a real relationship. Wanna, it builds a real bond between. Them. For Honestly, sure. this is better than my parents have treated me for the last ten years. So you guys want to adopt me? Yes. Show 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 the camera what we got. Show the camera what we got. <laughs> yo, yo, fuck yeah, dude. Yo, this is fucking incredible, dude. Yo, this is. It's, as you can see, honestly, it's, this it's is incredible, Naruto dude. No, Goku. no, no, no. As you can see, as you can see, it's Sergio and Raul from yeah. the Holy Chip Podcast. <laughs> Go mal it's go un maldito flow. Yeah, yeah. Because we're both little Asian boys, dude. We're both little Asian <laughs> boys. This is, it says Thrasher. Yo, this is like yeah. a mashup of all the good stuff, dude. It's great. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, when we were when we went to the store to get it, I was just like, we were like, yo, so you guys aren't gonna get in trouble for this. <laughs> they have like backwoods logos on shirts, like they have everybody else's logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But their own. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I mean, this is just a fucking mashup. I love it. <laughs> yeah, this this is great. Do you think you'll ever wear it on yeah. stage? Or? Uh, dude, I, I swear to God, I will wear it on. <laughs> no, maybe not Monday. A Focal this Wednesday. Focal. Come to Focal this Wednesday, one of my fucking great rooms here in Miami, and I will be wearing this fucking shirt, 1,000% guaranteed. Uh, fuck yeah, Promise. dude. Promise. Um, I'm glad you liked it. Yeah. So you, so what inspired? Very happy that you liked it. Yeah, for sure. So it's gonna be tight on me, but it's okay. You think? It's gonna be really buff. It's a large though. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm a large man, dude. Yeah, you're a big I'm guy. Tall. I'm tall. Big guy. You're a big guy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm glad yeah. you liked it. Oh, I love it, dude. Thank you, thank you, boys. Thank you. Kisses, no. kisses, cheers. Clear. Based off. <laughs> Jeff Bezos, Chef Bezos, Chef Bezos. Clinking, we're gonna put uh, kisses. Yeah, uh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's fucking <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but you got a, uh, you got any in investment advice? I'm, try I'm trying to get into crypto. So. Uh, well, all right. Look, 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 look. This is the straight and narrow of it all. You know, I'm saying if you're gonna invest in crypto, what you want to do is make sure it's a non-binary blockchain technology that is a non-mutual fund perhaps it could be mutual but it has to be semi translucent mutual uh also you know the thing about stocks right now is that the liquidity in the market is just truly unbeknownst to me it's not even at a level that could be curtailed for anyone else to truly make any sort of um significant gains so what you have to continue to do is just fiscally be responsible in the decisions that you make so by doing that you just got to invest in amc cardano amc 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 invest in amc let's fucking go to the moon amc cardano no, cardano cardano as well though seriously cardano's a good one it was created by the guy who made ethereum and it's a much cheaper cheaper price right now so you can get in everyone just go buy ten thousand cardano right now it's you know 15 grand no big deal it's chilling you guys have money <laughs> yeah yeah you know you the people the people who listen to this years. podcast definitely have money they have a lot of money <laughs> no they have a lot of money trust me hell yeah dude like 70 percent of them are drug dealers Oh, hell yeah, so you got to clean your money anyways, right? <laughs> so what better way to clean your money than put it into crypto? And also, you can just give me some of that money, and I'll invest it into AMC for you. And then when we go to the moon, I'll get you seven Lambos, dude. Hey, so you want to tell us, um, like, how, how, why are you so addicted to, to investing in AMC? Um, because, look, man, I stopped believing in religion a long time ago, and I need something to believe in. And if there's anything that's brought me belief, it's fucking the Reddit sub subreddit for AMC and just the idea of a bunch of fucking idiots in like you know sweatpants and War of the Warcraft nerds and shit <laughs> yeah. making hedge fund managers nerds. yeah exactly dude <laughs> making these fat fucks in in Wall Street who smoke cigars and are used to eating steak and lobster we're gonna make them convert to eating hungry man dude and I'm fucking for that shit dude I'm for all sure. for fuck, that fuck the hedge funds make hedge fund managers eat hungry man. Eat hungry That's man it, again, and we've actually we yeah. had a, a, an episode where we're talking about yeah, fuck the hedge fund millionaires. When the GameStop thing was happening for the first time, we dropped some shit. You guys go check that out. But hell yeah, yeah check that out, dude. Fuck, fuck hedge fund managers, truly. Yeah. Fuck billionaires that were crying about it. 
Yo, it's I don't know, that's like it's so funny to see that shit too. Like on the on the subreddit and stuff of these guys getting mad at us for banding together and just being smart for once. And they're like, no, they you can't do that. That's not allowed. I can't lose the game. You lose the yeah, game. Yeah, exactly. It's I, like, I, yo, only bitch. I can manipulate the market. Exactly. Bitch, this is Monopoly, son. All right? And we just, we all banded together and we bought Park Place, all right? And I put a hotel on it and you're landing on it every <laughs> fucking time, you fuckface. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking funny. That's a good analogy. Follow a question to that since you mentioned Hungry Man. What is your favorite Hungry Man flavor or uh, variety, I would say? Uh, the chicken tendies, bro. Chicken tendies with the macaroni, right? It usually has the chicken tendies, the macaroni, and maybe like the little sweet corn on the side. And they give you that fucking poo poo brownie that. Oh, the poo -poo brownie. Yeah, that yeah. fucking. And just like, I don't even know what that is, dude. Honestly, <laughs> what is that? No brownie tastes like that. What about the Salisbury steak? Oh, that's a young nah. dude. That's what is nah, a Salisbury bro. steak? Is that a real thing? Like, besides from. From non-hungry men, yeah. um, as one hungry man to another hungry man, <laughs> let me let you know that Salisbury steak is a real thing. Uh, it's actually like it's definitely very white people thing. Like I'm sure middle America is very well versed on Salisbury steak, but as far as the steak connoisseurs, yeah, definitely, definitely. But as far as the hungry man version is concerned, uh, yo, that shit is like cardboard. I don't fucking know what's in that shit. <laughs> That <laughs> sauce is gas, bro. Like literal gas. I think they have a little bit of gas in it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's why you're addicted to it. <laughs> For real, yo. Oh shit. Um, and so you're you're half Cuban, half Canadian. You want to talk about that? A that I am, that, ladies that, and gentlemen. I actually have a tattoo right here that signifies that, Cuban Canadian. And I, I just thought it was like a reefer plant smoking a blunt. That's what everyone thinks. Everyone thinks that time, it's a red reefer. Like, it's a maple leaf smoking a cohiba. So you're a Canadian nationalist. No, I'm a Cuban Canadian, dude. Oh, okay. That's it, baby. I mean, I do have I do have my Canadian uh, citizenship. I don't have the passport yet, but you know, yeah, time permitted, I might go get that just in case I have to do. So you weren't born in Canada. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you weren't born in, in Canada. No, fuck no. I was born here, dude. I was born in Jackson, USA. baby. Nice. USA. Right, right around USA. here. Right here, dog. Oh, right shit. Right down the block, oh, right right down the block boy. You know me. I got two more dookie in my brain. <laughs> I got all the dookie in my brain. They're like this boy got dookie in the brain. We gotta think about this woman right now. What are you gonna do with all that dookie? Uh, in what are you gonna do with all that dookie in your brain? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so if I may ask, how did you get that dookie in your brain? How did I get that dookie in the brain? <laughs> the well, because you know what? I tell my mama vagina for too long. <laughs> I went in there for too long, man. Did she poop when you were coming out and it went in through your ears? I think so. I think so. Honestly, yeah, yeah man. Because they're like, yeah, they took that's him out. A and comic the doctor, thing. The doctor, you know, they 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 took me out and they're like, listen, listen, <laughs> he's perfect in every way, but ma'am. Your son, he has an excess doogie in the brain. <laughs> he got doogie in the brain. Doogie in the brain. Got doogie in the brain. That'd be a cool song, dude, right? Like, oh, we can make one of those songs. Doogie in the brain. Doogie in the brain. Do my doogie in the brain. Doogie. Let's do it. It could be doogie. like a Miami bass song. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's it right there, dude. Did you ever used to make music? I did actually, yeah. Did I did, you? dude. Yeah, I used to be go? in a hip hop duo. Ooh. It was a white guy hip hop duo. Oh shit! Yeah, uh, man. We were called the Ghetto Gestapo. Oh shit! Ghetto Gestapo. So you were uh, basically gentrifying the ghetto. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm just fucking yeah, 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 yeah. No, we were, we were, we were, dude. We were, we were, we were. No, we were against it. We were against gentrifying the ghetto. You're against um, gentrification. My my friend that I did it with got a girlfriend. He used a big puss. And um, you heard it here first. You heard it here first. Yeah, exactly. That's really that's really what happened. Girlfriend and do whatever you like at the same time. And be creative. Correct. Exactly, dude. You don't have to give up on your dreams once you get to the pussy. That means that you only did what you were doing to try to get puss, and that's sad. <laughs> Smoking weed on the podcast. This is the first time me or Shaq have ever smoked weed. Yeah, I don't, I don't even do that, bro. Yeah, he doesn't either. We all just like went to a random alleyway in, in Miami Beach, and we asked the first, uh, the first Haitian kid that we found if he knew what za, where we can get some za. Some so, za. What, yeah, what so is za? Za. Is that what you said? Kids are calling. Uh, uh, exotic weed now. Some za. za. I have some some kids that I know that call it um they call it that fucking what do they call it dude? that drax they call it the drax. Oh uh, yeah. Drax or thrax. I think maybe maybe that maybe the thrax yeah maybe that. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see the lighter. That is that is like an actual terminology yeah. Okay. Let me see the lighter though. So yeah. Um. Back on. Yes. Question. We are. Do you poop rogue or jungle style? Damn, all right, well. Rogue is naked. 
Uh -huh. Jungle style is just pants down, pop, and keep it moving. Well, it, it all depends, but yeah, I mean, I'll do jungle style if I'm about to take a shower. Or if I'm at like um, if I'm in a um, in a hostel or something like that, you know, like a youth hostel. If I'm abroad, it's always jungle style. It just it just I'm in vacation mode, dude. I gotta get with as much naked on? time as I possibly can. No, jungle style is with clothes on. Rogue is naked. Yeah, yeah. Jungle style like leads like you're in the jungles of Vietnam. You only have a, a time to pull your pants down real quick, take a shit. Keep it going. Okay, and then Rogue is naked. Rogue is naked yeah. Okay, okay. So yeah, if I'm on vacation, it's all Rogue. I'm just going straight Rogue because I'm trying to Vogue and I'm trying to get my dick sucked. <laughs> I was gonna do a rhyme, but it didn't work. On the toilet, you're trying to get the dick sucked, right? That, I mean, dude, honestly, when I die, I want to die taking a shit while getting my dick sucked. Two in one, because Sweet. I was also gonna ask you if you had a preferred way to die, how would it be? So. Hundred percent. Oh, the, a Blumkin. Blumkin? Death, no way. Death by Blumkin. Death by Blumkin. That's <laughs> fucked. You, you <laughs> that's, I know you talk, you talk about Blumkins, but that is the death. That's like, I want death by Blumkin for sure. That's hilarious, bro. That shit is fire, man. Yeah, that shit is good. Me, I, I would like, um, well, I poop road style no matter where I'm at. I could be at work. I can be in any public setting. I'm going to get butt naked to take a shit. Really? Uh, yeah, is that, is that like for real? That's true? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I don't believe that Let's though. just say it is. Um, yeah, we but, just... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but what I do also do rogue style is uh, I pee rogue style. I'm one of those type of guys that I have to take my shirt off and put my my pants down to my legs. To pee you're, a you're a big boy. Yeah, yeah, you're a big boy. Yeah, yeah, you're a big boy. I my shirt up like that. That's cool. Yeah, you're, you're just flashing the tile. Right. It's like, check it out. Yeah, just, I got nipples, tiles. <laughs> I walked in on a kid in high school being like that, and we were both like 17 years old. Yeah, and but he, he probably very uncomfortable. He, did he I he him doing that. did he ride a different kind of bus than you? He didn't. Really? No, he didn't. Oh wow! That's, <laughs> and plus, I was the one that drove the. I, I was the one that rode the small bus. You rode the different kind I of rode bus. The different kind of. Bus okay, okay. And you were like, yo, I'm fucking more normal than this fucking yeah, yeah. guy <laughs> yo i'm about, getting high uh, as fuck on this show what? what yeah right what about ways to die how would you me it? how would i die um i would like it to be short and sweet maybe like a a, a nice uh bullet through my head i would like Holy actually fuck. like a gender reveal that's a quick one that's a quick bullet. one though. yeah 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 well then two bullets in my head you know so, oh, mafia style as a gender reveal right i i, I would want like i would want my my baby mama to tell me the gender of the kid through me blowing my brains. <laughs> and then the color, and then the color, the color of the, the bullet. <laughs> the color of the bullet yeah. would be the gender. They so call that... Uh, the that's the, come out. It's either going to be blue or pink. Right. Uh, that's it, called Courtney Love style, yeah. Right. It can only be blue or pink because there's only two genders. We just wanted to throw that in there. Uh, no, blue dude. Or pink. Get it right. You're it, wrong, dude. There's if, 365 <laughs> genders. There's one for every day of the year. And if you... If you that's don't... I've never heard that before. What were you saying? If you're a boy and you don't like to wear blue then you're a girl just saying and if you're a girl who doesn't like to wear pink you're a boy just letting it be known uh my preferred way to die would probably be like to get this uh maybe like a black e-girl a black anime, anime cosplay e-girl uh-huh okay she shoves her panties in my mouth and sticks uh each toe thumb in my nostril until i suffocate okay that's bad kicky, hell yeah, dude. And it sounds well thought out, so I like that. Right? It's very well thought out. Like, I don't know any black E. Well, I mean, I've seen them, but I don't know any by heart. Do you have any? Dude, I don't know uh, any E girls, dude. E -girls, I don't think I've ever goth, met an E girl. You never heard of an E girl? No, no, I've heard of them. I don't the think ones I've... that dance in like. I know, no, I know. You, I don't you, think you I've ever them met they one. Never leave their house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I guess it's true. Dude. They're like. Or shower. They, they or live shower in a prison, either. dude. Yeah. I guess. I guess this is. Uh, who cares, right? But like, I, I, um, I had a student that was an E girl big ass tits yeah. and uh yeah i smashed knee girl guys uh follow, me, follow, follow me on discord <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude also clubhouse a student <laughs> clubhouse yeah well yeah maybe if you're if you're seeing this from clubhouse follow sergio sergio doesn't want to get into clubhouse like that but no i'm not he gonna fucking get into kill. That. he doesn't understand he's that like real, i've got person. 
I've got well, and that's a pro. And what? I'm, 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 you're right. I'm just a character. I'm a we're real both, character. We're both just like cartoon characters. <clears throat> we're just cartoons. Yeah, we're not real people. Yeah, that's what people actually ask us if we're real people. <laughs> are you real? Or are you just an entity? Right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you we're are trash cor- fire media. The dark corner of your brain. Oh, okay. I like that. Oh yeah. Dude. I mean, you guys do have a dead inside look to you. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Sometimes when I look at when I look at Shag in the face, I just his eyes are looking through me. I know it. You know, he's just looking at the wall behind me. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay though, you know. Uh, no, we just we just know that nothing's real, including us. <laughs> I, is a we're it's fucking crazy. yeah, dude. You guys should do some DMT with me. That Let's do fun. it. Oh, so yeah. you've, you you've done DMT? Joe Rogan style. I DMT have, dude, because yeah, Joe Rogan told me to. No, honestly, I did it. <laughs> I did it. I did it before Joe Rogan made it cool. I swear to God, I did it in like 2014 or 2013, probably. Yeah, probably, I think it was like 2013. Nice. My brother, uh, my brother's done DMT. Oh, yeah. And the first time it looked very nice. You just sit back. Dude, you just go on a roller coaster, bro. He was like very happy. Yeah. And then the second Lovely. time, he was like, he woke up for a second, ran away, walked back. Really? And then closed his eyes again. And he was like, hey, sorry about that. You sure that wasn't oh, the he, idea? he probably yeah, broke he through. Huh? He didn't break through? or he was probably... I think it was the position we were in. What do you mean? Uh, it was like, we were like outside. It was real hot. Maybe during the day? Yeah, was, oh, yeah. Like, oh, no. Setting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, you need, you need a nice day. fucking... Those aren't day drugs. Right. No, no, I, no I did, no, I did no, during no. the day. I did during the day, dude. I did during the day. Wow. But it was a nice, you know, there's a nice tapestry, yeah. tapestry in the background. It was indoors. There's a nice Persian rug on the floor. You know, we were just, yeah. you know, we're just, we're just chilling on the couch, you know? Relaxing. We were just playing Mario Kart for a couple hours. It was a good day, you know? Right. And then this fucking hippie guy was just like, you guys want to smoke some DMT? And then you just put it in the bong with some weed. You just put some weed and then you sprinkle the DMT on the tippy top. And that's uh, how you do it. And then you woke up with your butt hurting. So that's happened to me a couple times. Yeah, I mean, that's, 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 that's just a regular Saturday, dude. <laughs> uh, Yo, your toes are fucked up, dude. Yeah, yeah. You all right? What do you, think you got some fucking up, gangrene or something? Spooky, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you a sailor from the 1500s, bro? Yeah, boy, got right, you got, you got, you got vulture toes. Yo, you can make some whiskey from your toenails, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you put that shit in the bottle for long enough. Uh, what do you think? What do you think about him? Damn. <laughs> Dude, <darling. laughs> can I film Yo, this? Yo, this one right there. Nah, nah. That one. Specifically, this one in particular. <laughs> that that one is right green, there. Man. Green. <laughs> <laughs> What am I supposed you to do? You guys don't know what's going on. Shaq has sandals on. Gucci Yo, sandals uh, to be I don't know, dude. Have, have you ever been to like. Toenails are a nightmare. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> go, go to the. Yeah, dude, what go to the toe doctor, doctor, bro. The fucking. <laughs> foot the one who tells you if you have scurvy or not, dude. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta eat some more lemons. <laughs> Yo, honestly, yo, I don't white know. claws, maybe. Yeah, they're good for you. <laughs> <laughs> they should be good for you. You heard it here first. White claws are good Sponsor, for scurvy. Sponsored by sponsored by White Claw. We got Sergio in a White Claw. He thought it was a, a gay drink. Nah, I only like them because they're good for scurvy, right? My toes are fucking <laughs> yeah. impeccable. This has real. You want to show? You want to show your feet? Should I show my feet? I'll show my you feet. Yeah, show your feet. Yeah, yeah. Is this gonna turn into a fucking only feet? <laughs> How many fucking people <laughs> make that stupid <laughs> joke, bro? I'm gonna do it now. Yeah, please do. No, 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 no. Don't tell him not to. Encourage him to do it. Show us what your fucking foot. foot. Dude, All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah boy. Dude. Let's see it. Let's see it. Sweet, dude. Hold on. Hey. Let me take a whip. Yeah. <laughs> They're clean. <laughs> They're clean. <laughs> This guy looks like his foot stinks, but I mean, yeah. they're clean feet. No, no, no. Definitely, I look like a guy with stinky feet, but <laughs> they're not bad, though. Yeah. Do the carpets match the drapes? Mm. Yeah, man. Yeah, dude. They're they're uh, <laughs> bush manscaped though, Ma- manscaped. You know. <laughs> okay. So you have like a design on around the bush? No, no, dude. I go I go bald eagle these days, ah. honestly. Oh, just yeah? just for you know, just for their pleasure. <laughs> And, and just just so that when they see it, it's like whoa. I have a like, <laughs> landing stripe. I know that usually women get the landing stripe, but I decided to you change that, yeah. So I have the landing stripe. Hell yeah, dude, that's great, man. <laughs> that's bold of you, honestly, dude, for equality. Yeah. And that that's you stand, really what I did. You stand with her. You stand with her. You know. I, I go. I mean, I date a lot of feminists, so like they they're either gonna it's either that or they fucking beat the shit out of me. 
for sure. She, like she, she's wives. the one who does it for you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Women are abusive, especially, especially Puerto Rican it's women. Very, yeah, it's very. I've never been with a Puerto, Puerto Rican chick, man. American I, I only, very abusive. I can only hope my future holds Puerto Rican women. Though. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. I would, I would love to. I would love to. Uh, to uh, enjoy the fruits of a, of a Puerto Rican. <laughs> you know, I, I love to taste that mofongo. Puerto Rican. I've, I've never, I've, I've, Puerto Rican. I've never, I've never got to, you know, taste that mofongo. Oh, oh, okay. I fuck with mofongo though. Me too. No, it's, it's delicious. And the yeah, but I want exactly. I, I want the real <laughs> momofongo. <dude. laughs> yeah, nah, nah. <laughs> momofongo. Yeah, that's love fungo. Yeah, there. It was yeah. there. It was right there. Hell <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I knew I was searching for something in my head. <laughs> that was it. Oh shit. shit. Oh shit. We still good, right? Yeah. Alright. Um, yeah, man. So, like, if you had, like, a superpower, what, or, like, let's say pick two or three superpowers. Damn, was just, all these hypotheticals, bro. I was prepared for this many hypotheticals, bro. Nah, I'm sorry. It's no, just, no, no, I'm no. Just, no. Like, you know, we're, 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 we're vibing. Throw things out. We're there. shooting, we're shooting. Hey, this is about you. This is the Sergio Mendez episode. This is about me. <laughs> yeah, you want to take it somewhere else. Yeah, go. I, just, I like <laughs> doing that. It's fun to go. <laughs> it really is, though. It really is. Like, you can't say that it's not. That's fun. If I had a superpower, it would be go. <laughs> whenever I wanted, whenever I wanted, for how long I wanted. You know? I can just do that for as long as I want, whenever I want, wherever I want. All right. So you like. <laughs> so that's probably because you like to. Do you like to give oral sex to, to women or men? I certainly. <laughs> I'm yeah, known to love to eat it. Unless there's a period there, in which case I don't want to eat it. There you go, bro. You got to. Oh, true. Of course not. Yeah. Scary, right? No, no, but this chick got mad at me the other time, like not recently, that I was not gonna do it because she told me, you know, I'm on period, blah 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 blah. The fuck? And she was upset. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And that's like a, you know, you can't really do that to a guy. It's not yeah. fair. She wanted me to eat her, you know. <laughs> no. She wanted me to eat nah, her, her mofongo nah, nah, nah. with, with, with the fucking, yeah, exactly. While I was bleeding down there, dude, I wouldn't be like, yo, my dick's got like six cuts on it, but suck it. Yeah, you know right? what I'm saying? Yeah, I wouldn't do that to you. Right yeah, I wouldn't now. do that to you. I wouldn't do <laughs> that to a chick. I had a homeboy that fucking called me one night and he was like, bro, I can't get the taste out of my mouth. I went down on my girl and now she was on she didn't tell me she was on her period and it just tastes like i was sucking on pennies yep that's it and I'm like, taste. I've, 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 I've gone i've gone hoodwinked before dude i've been hoodwinked, <laughs> hoodwinked. once before that's what hoodwinked. that's called i've been swindled oh shit <laughs> that's so funny oh my god have you ever been swindled in the way that you end up eating their coochie but they don't let you fuck after no, no, I don't think that's ever happened. What is that called? They call that the girl being. Uh, that's like yo, she a just princess. yo, she just bitched you yeah. up right quick. Yeah. Girl. Yeah. I got, I got and bitched then she's up. Like, gotta go, and you're like. Ugh. Yeah, well, yeah. That's hey, that's kind of dope. You, that's, that's like a female happened, cock. Dude. If that's ever happened, oh, to shit, you, it's all good. If that ever happened to you, you have to be proud in a sense, you know. <laughs> I'm looking at your toes. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be talking about it if I wasn't. Hey, this nigga's scarf for life. Hey. Oh, why is that shit? Yeah. Oh, shit. The, the, the toes are going to be on the Patreon. <laughs> yeah. If y'all want to see. You got to put it. If y'all Start like, a fucking GoFundMe. To, <laughs> to go to a doctor. AKA Terror Toes. You got terror terror toes. You got pterodactyl toes. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you only pick up shit with your feet. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, dude. I don't even. I, I'm surprised you're holding that mic with your hand, dude. Honestly, man, that's <laughs> amazing. He could, peel, he could peel a lemon with the his toe. <laughs> yo, this shit. Hey. It is. Yo, they they sharpen knives against those toes, bro. They talk, yeah, that's probably true. Fire. Hey. Good look, though. It's a good look. Yo. <laughs> They're just like that, yo. I, I wish I. We like become it. a circus, dude. We're just talking about toes, and then we got a, like a, a white claw, like bell yeah, yeah. thing surrounding us. They're making all these bells, yeah, like all right. It's like, well done. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I think that's it, right? Watch out. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's it, dude. This yeah. Is, yo, this is. I made. I'm riding the podcast, dude. I'm riding. Trash yeah. fire media right now, dude. This is it. Like, Heal. This is the whole thing. Heal. We got we got fucked up. <laughs> we did. And yeah, it's windy it's as fuck. What time is it? It's windy as fuck. It's, it's sunny as fuck. It's two twenty-seven. The days. Three of us are drunk already. <laughs> yeah. We gotta evaluate our lives. We're going on a bender, people. So if you see us out, <laughs> we're gonna do it way worse. In Wynwood or fucking Biscayne. After this, we're gonna cause a shit ton of trouble. We're gonna end up in 
that building over there, if I'm it's, not mistaken. That's the that's fucking. The, that's the jail. Yeah, the fucking JTW or whatever right the fuck over they call there. it. <laughs> By the end of the day. So, that yeah. was it, man. Thanks, uh, thanks everybody for tuning in. You want to plug yourself in, bro? Anything? One more time. Your fucking. Yeah, bro. Better, bro. Yeah, man, it's been a pleasure to be on the Trash Fire Media Podcast. I love my gift. I don't know where the t-shirt went. Oh, it's in, the, it's in there. Yeah, fucking love it, dude. Hell yeah, bro. I'm definitely wearing this. Flash it one more Next time. week on Wednesday at Focal. At Focal. You will see me in this shirt. Come out to me, say what's up. You know, uh, give me some money if you want. That's fine. Send I'll them take some that. money. Yeah, Send take, them give some me money. money. Um, fucking Magic City Pacino is my Instagram. Holy Chip Podcast is the podcast. Come to some fucking shows. You know, I run two shows in Miami. Ooh. Mondays at Cafe Kush come through. Ooh. And on Wednesdays at Focal Brewery come through. <laughs> and we got yeah. fucking all the, all the stuff for Damn. you. You know Son. what I'm saying? And we, nah, this has been fucking fun as fuck. Y'all boys, great. I fuck with y'all. Y'all ain't got too much dookie in the brain. Not even a little <laughs> bit. And because of that, y'all my boys. Yeah. Damn. Son, where'd you find this? <laughs> Sergio Mendez, everybody.